Hello, welcome to this 2D slope stability analysis overview regarding Plex's 2D LE software. My name is Marina Trevisoli and I will be guiding you through this session. The goal for our session is really meeting the interface of Plex's 2D LE and have a brief understanding of how the modeling workflow works. So here, is, so here we are under the Plex's 2D LE interface and first thing we can notice is the CAD drawing space here with our 2D profile already located. This drawing space can be adjusted using some of the CAD tools here on the bottom related to grid on and off using the snap ortho tools and any of this will actually help you build and visualize your model. So if you follow here on the top of the menu from a left to right fashion, we'll be able to complete the creation of the model to the analysis. If you come here under the model, uh, we can see the settings and under the setting is basically where we will specify what will be the search method, calculation method and additional settings in terms of conversions, defining the number of slices, uh, for example, if we decided to proceed with a probabilistic instead of deterministic analysis, we can also adjust on this dialog here. Spatial variability, so anything related to the calculation and definition of the criteria of the searching methods here, in terms of method, slip shape, can be done in this dialog. The geometry is the portion that we can create regions. Regions are basically closed polylines, polylines with uh, material property assigned. Uh, import the geometry and use some tools for adjustment. So let's say you'd like to draw a region polygon in the model. By clicking on this option, we can see here in Canvas that we can manually draw the region if we want by defining here uh, the coordinates. And there are other options indeed for copying the coordinates and so on. So double click, we'll have our additional region here. If we take a look on this menu combo box, we see that in this model there are four regions and this one is the new one that I've had added. Uh, here we can see that there are material layers that were already uh, existing in this model, so they were included, but I can for each of the regions directly in the drawing space, select the right click on my mouse and I will have some additional functionalities here as well. So in this case, for example, I could uh, apply certain loading on the top of the region, uh, could extrude, slice, and here I can also apply material. In this case, I will apply the upper CD clay. Okay. Uh, under materials, of course, we can define here the material properties. So if you click on a new material, you see all the constitutive models available for the user. And in that sense, Plex's 2DLE can offer a variety of uh, different constitutive models for soils and rock under different conditions. So drained, undrained, a fluid material, which is similar to water, just considering the unit weight as influence, bedrock, uh, different anisotropic linear models, unsaturated soil, plenty of different uh, theoretical methods to refer on the model. And then it's up to the user on defining the properties. As you can see here, for the sandy clay too, we have the strength properties, the unit weight, and so on. In the case that we would like to define for a certain region that there is a water level and above this water level I want to consider a different strength uh, parameter, that's fine. I can enable this option here and say that for this specific material, when there is water surface, uh, above this I will have a different soil condition that I can then create and refer to it in the model. The slips will vary 
uh, in terms of the search method that we define initially on the settings. So in this case, we are using grid and tangent, as you can see. And the grid and tangent, we can define here the grid and the tangent, of course, by pasting the coordinates, typing, or even drawing on canvas. So here we can see the location of grid and tangent already defined for this model. The pore water pressure is where actually we will define the uh, pore pressures conditions in the model. So if you click on their settings, you can see that there are different pressure methods available that can be used as water table, and in this case, piezometric lines, or even water table in it, area coefficient, discrete points, or even bringing results from groundwater uh, analysis in the model. If we select the result file linking, if we update a groundwater model, the result will be automatically uh, well linked and updated for the current uh, slope stability one. Here we can see on this blue dashed line that we have a water table applied to the model. The loading conditions can also be set in terms of line load or distributed load. And we all also have seismic load that can be used in the model using different methods, uh, pseudostatic conditions and others. Supports here under geometry, you can define uh, the location of the support and under the type manager, you can define the properties of the support. So let's say that your model have uh, will have anchors, piles, or other types of uh, supports available in the software, you can define the properties here and apply uh, as many as you want in order to achieve your design. Uh, in this case, for this model is all set, we can click here on Solve, Analyze, or on this green button, and the solver of uh, slope stability analysis will start for us. We can see here that uh, for this case, we selected several calculation methods, and we can see the previous result for factor of safety moment and forces. If you click on Visualize Results, we'll be able then to explore the output of Plexus 2 DLE. First image, of course, here in terms of the minimum factor of safety, 1.2, we also have some slope information regarding this critical condition, but here we can see in the menu on the top that the options change. So now we can plot graph, reports, uh, see different uh, trial slip surfaces, or even show slices, and in this case, click on a certain slice and evaluate the variables along this slice, and all the information can be exported if we want it. Artworks are also available if you like to refine a bit your report by adding art measurements, comments, and so on in the model. We can see here under the view dialog that there are options in terms of visualizing the legend or not, uh, enabling the visualization of material properties. All of this can be adjusted to get a better representation of your plot under your output report. Thank you for your attention.